It's what we rely on. Yes, sir. It's what we rely on. Uh -huh. It is someone or something that we trust. It is a belief. It is faith. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It is our conviction. Uh -huh. Some of us ain't convicted enough. Jesus. Amen. To know that if God said, see, let me tell you something. What assures that God is going to do something is based on your warfare. What assures victory yes. is the level of warfare you go through. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Y'all not hear me. Yes. So if you ain't going through any type of war, now listen, your warfare, I'm not talking about somebody I'm talking about you, that ain't warfare. Right. You talk about somebody getting on Facebook and blasting you, don't put your name to it. We not talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> We're talking about unexpected stuff going on. Like all of a sudden, where did this come from? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yes. Yes. You stuff on top. You don't not hear me. Yeah, yeah. And all kind of stuff going on. And to make it worse or bad is that even times the devil start talking to your mind, making you feel like you ain't worth it. Uh -huh. Talk to me. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes we're, when we're doing things for God and when we're in the move of the press of God, the enemy will come in with images and so I always used to say subliminal images in our mind to make us feel that what God said it is not going to come to pass. But I need you to look at somebody and say, Oh, yes, it is, yes, it is, oh, yes, it is, oh, it's gonna come. Uh, uh, and what is the validity of it coming? It's because the enemy is attacking me. He's attacking, listen, he ain't just attacking my finances, he's attacking my children, he's attacking on my child. He's attacking in my body. Y'all not here. He's attacking in my mindset. Y'all not here with me. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you gotta remain confident. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Help us. The Latin word for confidence is confidence, which is to say, I have full trust. Yes. Look at your neighbor and say, I got full trust in God. I got full trust in God. Yes, sir. A lot of times we got we got trust. We have trust in our connection. Yes. So what do you do when the connections have been settled? We have trust in how much money we make. What do you do when you lose your job? Yes. Yes. God has to eliminate all crutches. Yes, sir. That's right. Y'all not hear me. Sometimes we 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 codepend on certain things and we codepend on people. We codepend on situations. And, and he said, I gotta move all the crutches out of the way so that you have the total. That's what confident means. It is the to have the full trust. Come on, come on. He said, I want you to have a trust in me knowing that somebody got your back with the money. Y'all not hear me. What do you do when stuff is due and you ain't got a job? Talk, sir. Talk, sir. What do you do when you need things to happen and people are not there to make it happen? What do you do? Help us. What do you do? We were talking about what do you do when you have an overhead of two grand and you ain't got but 12 folk in the Y'all not hearing me? He said, I want you to remain confident and know that if it's my will, it's my bill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, sir. What's your neighbor's a neighbor? Yes. If it's God's will, it's God's will. It's God's will. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know that. You take care of it, but you got to trust him. That's right. And sometimes God will put you smack in the middle of a situation to really see where your heart is. That's right. Absolutely. Jesus. He put you right smack in the middle of a situation. Yes. And he said, I just want to see. You know what he did with the children of Israel? He said, I wanted to see what was in their heart. Uh-huh. I wanted to see if they were going to obey me. I wanted to see if they were going to trust me, even in their wilderness experience. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. your neighbor again and say, neighbor. Neighbor. You got to have confidence. Yes. Yes. 